Hello and welcome to the presentation on weed detection. So here in this notebook we are going to demonstrate how to detect a weed using mask or CNN. First of all we will install the TensorFlow version 1.15. And then we will insert Keras, which are the two important frameworks that I use for the for this project. Now TensorFlow has already insert. Now we can insert Keras. Now we can clone Matterport mask RCN and git repository in this there are helper functions which are used in our project now we can drag and drop the mask rs mrcnn module to the content folder in the google collab so that it can be accessible within the notebook similarly we will also clone the weed underscore detection repository in which our data set and weed dot pi file is located weed dot pi is a base class of the config dot py in the mask rcnn module coming to the mask rcnn features mask rcnn generates bounding boxes and segmentation masks for each instance of an object in the image and it is based on feature pyramid network and resnet 101 resnet 101 is a transfer learning module when coming to transfer learning transfer learning make use of the knowledge gained while solving one problem and apply it to a different related problem this is also called tree train model now we can unzip the data set so that we can load the images in the notebook the next step we can train our model with the weights from the mask arsenal model that has already learned from the coco data set coco data set is also known as ms coco data set now ms coco data set is an image net based huge data set uh, in which several images are trained and the ResNet model is backbone for this so that it has already learned many weights so that we can use those features to identify the weights in our image data set in this model we use the learning rate as 0.01 Now the model is getting trained and and the, there will be a 40 epoch. We have to change this number of epochs based on the result that we obtain. We have also observed that our model performed better till the epoch 10 and then it started getting worse after the 10. So when coming to the mask are seen in features, the first step it does is anger, uh, anger sorting and filtering. In the second step it does bounding box refinement. In the third step it does mask generation and in the fourth step it does the layer activation. 
and combining all the pieces together we get the instant segmentation mask so rustnet uses one not one layers with different output sizes such as 112 by 112 56 by 56 28 by 28 etc we use vgg image annotator tool which is available online for free for marking the regions in the images so that we will get a pixel level mask annotation to define the boundaries of the object in the dataset when annotation is done we will get all the images in a json file which can be retrieved while learning now the epoch is getting end and we are getting a good training loss and good validation loss now we can represent how the model learned we can also to see that how our model learned what is a box loss and mask loss and all that features so one of the major features of the mask are seen in is that it introduces a roi align features many of the features introduced in the mark rcnn were introduced from its predecessors of the faster rcnn faster rcnn and rcnn now we can see that our model weights have been logged in the logs folder and we can save that for our future uses now we can use the path of that log file to know how our model has performed in the training we have to select the last checkpoint so that it has learned the maximum sometimes we may have to also use a earlier layer in the case whether the model or fit our data we can also use a tf.events file to log in the tensor board now we have copied the path of the weights and we can run the cell the mask are seen in uses a feature pyramid network in which the features from the multiple convolution layer are chosen so that we can use the uh, predictions on the multiple layers and here we can set the gpu count uh, to our requirements based on the our system performance so this is uh, quite important when we do this process in our uh, local system now we can get the number of the classes in the images like how many images are there in the validation dataset the classes are bg represent the background and b represent the actual bit representation in the image next we can load the weights so that we can Uh, see how our model performed
so after the training the one of the major part of the mask rcn is the network head it's a no job of the network head to classify it with bounding box and generating the segmentation mask in the network head there are two important steps they are classification and detection and and generating the mask now we can see that an image has been generated with the amount of the accuracy whether it is a weed or not as in a box now we can also generate the color splash filter so that it we can differentiate the weed from the background So mask rcn uses a roi align features in which it standardizes the procedure of making it in an uniform manner it does by this by linear interpolation now we can generate one more image we run in the cell again and we can see that our model has predicted the weed with a 99 percentage of accuracy and there we can see that there are four weed detected in that image and the corresponding color splash filter so mask rcn was able to achieve this because of its learning from the ms coco dataset which has 80 class and 115000 images which is a huge number when compared to our dataset which has only 202 images in which 183 of them were used for training in mask rcn one of the important features introduced was the use of the anchor the generation of the anchor so each anchor has an fixed will be assigned a fixed score and based on that score the model with the highest uh, the segment with the highest score will be fast forwarded in the pipeline we had so that it showed the anger sorting and filtering in that image we can see that we can limit the score and see how the anger box work in our dataset so the in every step it proposes a region proportional network and displays positive and negative anger along with the anger box refinement then it generate the bounding box refinement it is a final detection box and refinement applied to the solid lines now we can see how model performs on changing the threshold value of the anger boxes we will also get a corresponding mask generation this then get scaled and placed on the image in the right location that's how the mask are seen it generate the mask by comparing the actual predicted mask on the image and the image itself
also the mask are seen in uses the aspect of the activation at different layer to look for the errors so that it can compute the loss function and make the image better in detecting the weeds so network had this job of doing the bounding box regression and mask generation so mask prediction is done using the fully convolution layer and is trained using the binary cross entropy loss and the final loss is the loss due to the box and the loss due to the mask itself now we can see that the threshold confidence is set to 0.9 so that it will dictate the maximum uh it the it will dictate the weights with the pinpoint accuracy we can also set that to 0.5 but it will show some error in that now our model starts showing an pixel level accuracy that it belongs to a particular image of the different class which is unique to the mask or seen it now this is a generated mask that will be used across different images Now we can also see that the size, height, and width of the different uh, mask and region proportional box lays. Now this is a intermediate feature map that is generated by the ResNet on the following dataset. Now we can also save the model. in our drive and that's all about our project on v detection you can find more on github